and welcome back to the finish line, proudly sponsored by Hollywood Bets and our ninth episode of our Cheltenham Festival and the Post Tips. We are going to go back over all our selections so far and have a look through them and see how they're getting on in the markers. But before that, you can still get your hands on two tickets to the 26th of December for Leopardstown's Christmas Festival. All you have to do is head over to the Finish Line Twitter page and you will find out how to do it. All you have to do is like, share, tag and retweet the post that is pinned to the top of the page. So who wants to bite the bullet? Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Never mind. Right. So here is all Dave's selections so far. So she wears it well, put her up for 50 to 1 for the champion hurdle. We haven't seen her since 2012, but apparently she's alive. She's alive, but God only knows if she'll rise or run or what. But sure, look, what can you do? That was a bad one. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if it's a bad one because we haven't seen her, but I was like my Angola from last yeah, year. It's, yeah, at, yeah. at the time, it, it sounded was, good. It was... I don't know what the word Suspect. Uh, no. Shite. No, it's just, I can't think of the word. My brain is melted with these tablets. Uh, hey, my Drogo, Arca Novice Chase, eights and now sixteens. To be honest, uh, he I think he'd be better off going to the Arca if you just leave him run riot from the front, but it's not going to happen. Okay. Yeah, uh, the other yoke is not good enough to win the Arca or even place him. It's uh, anyway the other horse that they have. That yoke. Can he, it's so irrelevant now. Yeah, I don't I even remember, remember his, his name. name. What's his name, Tom? Who? The third time lucky. Definitely. Yeah. Oh. Galois in the mayor's chase. We have yet to see her. He said in the stable tour that she was going to go chase him, but I reckon she might end up in the mayor's hurdle. True. It's kind of getting late in the day now, isn't it? For him to go to be chasing. So. Yeah. Fernie next. Yeah, Arco, Fer- Fernie. Now ten to- yeah. Can I talk first, man? You put it up a 10 to 1. It's now 10 to 3. You have it spelled totally wrong. I know I do. Fernie Hollow instead of Fernie Hollow. Look, uh, do you know what the thing was? I doubt de- <laughs> <laughs> de- <laughs> this, and I, I was looking at him then when I had him on the computer, and I was like, I'm not spending that wrong, and I'd have to go back and recrop all that and do that. And it was like 12 o'clock at night, and I was like, nah, it'll do. <laughs> yeah, I I had to get him in early. I, I backed him last year myself, for it. I was really hoping he'd go for the Arkel, and it looks like he will go now. Um, appreciate it's still a favourite. Maybe they'll both turn up there, but um, I think Fernie is the better horse, speedier horse. Let's be clear about it. Albert Bartlett, 33s, and is still 33s. Yeah, we haven't seen him again this year yet. Um, do think he's a Bartlett horse if he comes out, but maybe we'll see him over Christmas. Uh, Roy, 16s for uh, Ryanair, now 10s. Yeah, God, poor Roy's. He just needs to go home, and that's the end of that. Hashtag free Roy. What was the hashtag? Hashtag free Roy. Hashtag Roy misses NY misses Tiger Roll. Hashtag bring Roy home. Moving on swiftly. I genuinely do think he'd be better off going. Back. Like I don't. It's not that I think hey. Henry's, Henry's a bad trainer. <laughs> if anyone could see Tom's face right now, his little screens down the bottom of our yeah. screens. <laughs> Tom just, just has his head in his hands. Like. Horses are, uh, they have feelings. Like, hold up now, I'll show you. There's Tom right there's Tom right now. Look, there's no what to do. You know, they have feelings, Tom. You know, like, changing stables don't work for them all. Yeah, it, it doesn't. I just, I, yeah, I exactly. Never, he's just been exposed. He's just not him. Yeah, well, give him a chance. Anyway, back we go. The <laughs> boss, the boss is Oscar. National Hunt Chase 25s, no 12s. <laughs> yeah. I still think you go for the race and finish second, probably. Or third. Uh, <laughs> no, it was a good, uh, Running good each on way, at the end. good each way price. But um, see, I think a lot of people think Grand Royal Fred is going to go for it, but uh, there hasn't been many horses owned by O'Leary's that have actually ran in that race. They don't tend to like. I know Tiger Roll won it, but um, I don't know. I do think still think you go for the race, so. I think it's a good price. Mm-hmm. Flowing Porter. Yeah. Stairs are 11 out of 10s. Up there with Fernie for me. I think uh, I think he should be favoured. And that's the end of it. Still a good price. It is still a good price. Uh, Honeysuckle Champion Hurdle 13 to 8. Now 4 to 5 on. Yeah. Tom laughs at this, but I put her up because I knew she was going to win. <laughs> He's the last. I knew she was going to win by uh, a mile. <laughs> 
probably go through the season unbeaten. She'll win in the Dublin Racing Festival and she'll be one to two to regain her crown. So thirteen to eight was just a steal at the time. A high senior festival novice is fives and still fives. Races like he did today at Newbury will win the festival novice chase. And that is Dave's pick so far. And today's pick is Gayard de Menil for the same race. For the same race, Jesus festival Christ. novice chase. For the festival novice chase, because I, cause I had to get him in because he's racing tomorrow over two mile three. I don't think he's going to oh, go God, for. Tom's going to come with it now. You're getting the value, aren't you? I'm, he's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Over two mile three. Andrew said. Oh, look at wait for look. <laughs> Andrew said a couple of times last year that he needed a trip. And you told me I was taunting shite. Right. He went up against Bob. He was fast enough to beat Brave Man's game and come second, but he was well and truly put in his place by Bob. That's fair enough. Can't see why they'd go two mile forward him at. Uh, Cheltenham and get beaten by Bob again because that's definitely where Bob is going and he will more than likely win that race um, so I mean he's been beaten by him already Does they jump the fences the same then he'll be beaten by him again probably needs a trip like Andrew was saying so 3 miles he's 25 to 1 Brave Man's game is like 5 to 1 the price makes no sense because he bet Brave Man's game last year fair and square so has to be in my team. But each each way steal. What 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 does the price matter if he gets beat, Dave? That's what you always tell me. Value, Tom. That's what you always tell me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm still but, a loser. Yeah, uh, to be I think uh, a high senior win the race, but I can't not see Gayard placing if he uh, turns up there. 25 to 1. Arsenal have just scored. My notification. Um, right, now we are going to move Why on. Is then, how come he's not up on the screen? Because I'm very busy and I've only oh, one pair okay. of hands. Okay, I just made, I don't have I just made it wizards. obvious to everybody that you didn't do that. So I have sorry about that. I don't have technical <laughs> wizards on my beckoning to do all these. I do all these. Like... Yeah, I gave the manual anyway. Um, and he's great. Is he silver forever today? Oh, I know oh, seen a great age just jumping. She's beautiful. She's like <coughs> she's like Ellie Mae's twin. Just white. Yeah. Right. Tom's turn. Tom, we'll start off with Princess Zoe, Mayor's Namas Hurdle 20, now 10s. Why? I don't know, because she's not running in it. It's a disgrace that she's shorter now than she was then. She had, she had a small squeak of running in it then, but uh, she has no chance of running in it now. Um, Dreams, dreams gone. Big bad Bob for the marsh. Put up a fours now, thirteen to eight. Yeah, bolts up. I think. Um, I yeah. I mean, that was that was a long way off as well. That we were putting him at fours. That'd be very short for me now. That far back. Um, I just yeah. I just I just love that horse. The more the more, you know, the more time passes. I know he's only run once over bloody fences, but. No, I just I just think his form stacks up and yeah, he's he's very good. Mount Ida, Mayor Chase, twelves, no tens. Um yeah, I'm just gonna see if she is entered. Um yeah, I I I stand by her. Um that was it. She won the um she won the listed mayor's chase at Clonmel. She beat that Scarlet and Dove. Um for, for she did it well to be honest. Um and yeah, I think it's full of steam ahead. Uh Tom. Gold Cup, twelve to one, now three to one. Yeah, very keen on him. Uh as I said at the time, he was un, he's unexposed over three miles. He'd only had a couple of starts on it going left handed. Um he's had now had one more ADOC. I know the race fell <laughs> apart, but he absolutely annihilated them. Um I think he's got a hell of a chance in the Gold Cup. Yeah. Uh, Bal got a flow, cross country chase, 16s, now 12 to 1. Yeah, still very keen on him. Uh, I thought he ran a lovely race the first time, um, and then he finished lame the last day. So I'm not, I have no idea how badly lame. I don't think it was too bad from, from watching him 
run anyway. Um, but that gives him a little bit of an excuse. He's realistically got no chance in those hand, in those races. He's got to give that much weight away. Um, so yeah, I'm still I'm still keen on him. I still think it's a very fair price, considering he's only seen Tiger all once and he absolutely spat the dummy out. So uh, yeah, um, there's about twenty million different ways I've heard the first name pronounced. I'm gonna it's go Gilly with Billy. Guy, Gilly Billy. I'm gonna go with yeah, it's Gilly Billy. Like who? who yeah, not... people. Gilly Billy, Annie Ray's fourteen to one now, twelve to one after he hacked up a tramore last week. Now, I felt so stupid after I put this up, but he comes out and he gets stuffed in a bad maiden herd at Club Mel. Um, some of Henry's horses just weren't firing, though, I think. And the way he won at Tremor, I was actually quite impressed by him. I thought his turn for a, he's he's a massive, massive horse. If you ever get to see him in the flesh, he's, he's absolutely huge. Um, so Tremor probably wasn't his track. I know Rach was even trying to get him to change his leg coming down the hill. So, um, the way he quickened when he hit the bottom of that hill, um, I thought was actually very impressive. Um, I am still keen on that 12 to 1. Um, I don't know whether he wants to step up and trip or whether he's actually all right for for two miles and he's quick enough. But um, I, I, I wouldn't rule it out just yet. He's got to go and step up a lot, obviously, but I wouldn't rule it out. And I'm just, God, I'm trying to see what price he is. He's hardly this far now. Oh my god! Oh wow. my days! He is sixty-six to one for the supreme novices. That is a joke. I'm actually. I'm actually he's a stayer though. So he's trying, I think he's a stayer too. Yeah, I well, to be honest, I that's why I put him up any race, and this is a bit like this reminds me of Bally Adam a little bit, right? That everyone was like, oh, sure, he's the stayer. And, oh, sure. and when he was with Gordon, it was, oh, Zana here's the quick horse, he's the stayer. And then he, not Zana here, sorry, he, then he ended up in back in the in the Supreme. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, uh, I wouldn't rule him out of that Supreme just yet. I wouldn't, I wouldn't rule him out. I think they like him enough, as in Chiefly Park did. They mentioned him in their anti post. Uh, anti post pre pre uh pre season stable tour so 66 to 1. If anyone wanted to stick a random fiver on a horse, I wouldn't put you off that. Could be the next graduate from the playground of champions to go on and win the channel. Could be, could be next. Week, be now, but 66 is I wouldn't rule it out. Moving on to you put up right for the Ryanair chase of 16s now 10s and the champion chase he's 20s and he still is 20s and he's got no chance in either I don't think um yeah I I just think he was probably a bit exposed there the last day um jury's very much out on him by Alan now brave man's game first of another chase eight now 11 to two yeah, really keen on him. I think what he's done so far has been absolutely perfect. And um, yeah, they're very keen on him. Still got a chance there. Uh, we have Eklad Ari for the Gold Cup. 33s, now 66s. Yeah, he obviously wasn't right in the Hennessy, was he? Um, I'm not, I have no idea if, if anything came out of that. But uh, yeah, that looks, um, that looks a hell of a long shot now, doesn't it? I think he finished lame. Uh, yeah, I think he finished lane, but I'm not sure how bad or, or what exactly happened. So, is it um, for the season, or will we see him again? Yeah, true. Um, last one is heaven help us for the mayor's 30 trees and is still 30 trees. This is a joke, this is an absolute joke for Bryce, right? Because she ran on race and post ratings her second best race ever the other day. She got completely outpaced, she looked like she was going to tail off. She then used all of her energy up to get herself into the race, and she just got a bit tired then. She's going to step up to two and a half mile for the mayor's, the mayor's hurdle. And if you look, I had this discussion with someone the other day. If you look at where they can go, if they go back to the Coral Cup off 150, she's basically going to be top weight. So do you want to go back there off top weight, or do you want to run in a mayor's hurdle, which hasn't isn't exactly fantastic this year? I'd go for the mayor's hurdle all day long. I make her about a 12 shot. Uh, I think 33s is, is an insult. 
I backed her at 20, I backed her at 30 freeze. I backed her again at 20s before the weekend. And I'm going to go in again tomorrow at 30 freeze. Uh, I, I think that's an insult to Bryson. Well, are you happy with value then if she loses? Um, yeah, if she if she loses, she loses. If she turns up there, she's not going to go off 30 freeze, is she? So. Right, and today's selection, please, Tom. Today's selection is Dysart Dynamo. Uh, Willie Mullins' horse uh, for the Supreme is 10 to 1, I believe. Um, to scroll all the way back up now after looking for Gilly Billy. Um, yeah, his, his best price, 10 to 1. I, I think he's got a cracking chance. Um, it's very impressive in the cork. It really, really was an obviously um, at his hurdles. And then quickened up in the straight. Sean O'Keefe rode him that day, and he'd um, he'd ridden Kilcross in the race before. And him and Largy J, Largy J debut went off <laughs> a million miles clear, um, and looked to go a real good gallop. And he just held on to Dysart Dynamo a little bit more, and he held on to him, and he still went and won by nineteen lengths. Um, I thought that was a a really, really, really uh, impressive performance. Uh, if you look at the times between the two of them, for a race where you think he, he didn't go as quick, and then you look at uh, Largy debut and, and Kill Crot, who looked to go proper gallop, there's only a second in between them, um, which isn't a great deal um, of, of time. And he did it like head in his chest, basically, just nudged forward. Um, he looks a big, raw baby. I think there's loads more to come from him. I think half the reason he's maybe going a bit under the radar is he runs in his breeder's colours, uh, Eleanor Manning. Um, and I think if he was in the Rich Richie silks or something like that, you know, people would be latching on a lot more. Um, really excited to see him out over Christmas. I don't think I'll be taking him on wherever he goes. And um, yeah, I think he's got a proper chance in the Supreme. Fair enough. Now, my turn. You want to do the reading? Okay. You have Big Bob. Fours now 13 to 8. Steering job next. You have O'Toole for the Ballymore Albert Partlet. Uh, 25s, 33s, now 20s and 33s. Has an entry next week. Interesting to see how he gets on. His bumper form is Good second behind Kill Crot and the champion bumper of Punchestown. Um, hey, I'm interested to see how he gets on. Okay, so you've Champ who's out this weekend, and you talked about in the other video. Stairs hurl uh 20s, he's now 12s. If he wins the long walk on Saturday, you're looking at four to one giant favorite along with a uh, classical dream and if he does win very well on saturday they won't be selling him back over fences so i think he's a big player in the stairs hurdle yeah the latest exhibition who unfortunately and sadly is not with us anymore so may he rest in peace that's pretty shitty uh tell me something girl for the mayor's hurdle eight to one now nine to one one of these horses where I will be ignoring everything she does until the springtime. She came to life in the springtime last year, winning or not winning, be third behind Heaven Help Us uh, at Leperstown at the Double Rains Festival, then bolted up in the Mayor's Novice. I think uh, nine to one still is a huge price for her. I think she has an unbelievable chance of winning that. Uh, journey with me for the Ballymore, uh, 16s, now 12s. Haven't seen him yet, and yet he's after shortening the price. I don't get that. I think he's an entry the weekend. He's, he's, yeah, entered, yeah. he's entered. He's entered the weekend, but we haven't seen him yet. <coughs> but I think they're his... waiting for a tough ground under is what I read today somewhere. And they're getting that now, and he is. I'm really looking forward to seeing him. His bumper win at Corn Park was very, very good visually, and people will be thinking you're going off him because Bob won the same one. But the way he done it, the way he travelled through the race, the way he put it to bed, there's a huge engine underneath there. And when we seen him out in Henry's and that no horse could keep, keep up with him on the gallops, there's a serious engine under there. So I am very much looking forward to seeing him in the Ballymore. If he runs in the Ballymore, not Ballymore. The weekend, if he runs. Uh, put the kettle on, I think it was for the champion chase, 14s, oh, yeah. now 20s. 
She's not going to run. Yeah. This will all depend on ground. If there's soft in the description, like proper soft ground in the description, I think she still go there. If it's anywhere normal, spring ground, good, good to soft, I think they might chance it. Not chance it, but give her the easier option to go into the mayor's chase. But then you're looking at Henry and she's the current reigning champion. He's not a man to shy away from a challenge. I still think she could run in it. And look, as we talked before, she ran to the same rating when she got beat by Newby Negra as she did when winning uh, the Schlur the year before beating uh, Duke of Geneva. So look, she comes alive at Cheltenham. She just had a bad day. She's a mayor. They all have bad days. I think she still could be a big price on the day. But look, she has to come on a hell of a lot to to um, trouble the lives of an Um But yeah, look, I'm still happy enough with that. A gentleman's game for the National on Chase 20s, now 12s. Was it you who told me he's going over hurdles? Yeah, I don't I think he's staying over hurdles. If he's staying over hurdles, well, that's shite. But I think he's just a mate, he's an out now chaser. I think if he does, look, he'll need to come out soon <coughs> enough. I think you need to, is it, you have to need win two before you run this, is it? Uh, yeah, it's a certain criteria anyway. You have to win two or something like that before you run this race, but he'd need to come out soon enough. But if he does, I think he could be an ideal type for this kind of race. Uh, Alho for the Ryanair, uh, 72. He's now 5 to 2. I am worried that that race is after destroying him for the season. That John Dorkin. I don't think it was the plan whatsoever for, for him to be rattled like that there. Um, I wouldn't be sh- shocked if we didn't see him again to Cheltenham. But if he does turn up A1, he's going to take some beating and that. I think he gallops and jumps him into the ground, all being well. That, that didn't. Leave the mark. Uh, three stripe life for the supreme novice. Thirty trees now. Twenty fives. I really <laughs> think this fella's going on under the radar. He was fourth, fourth in the champion bumper, where he done everything wrong on the way to the start during the race, and he was still there about four long and a half out. Just got tired from all the piss arse around he did on the way, way down to the start. Uh, I think twenty five to one is still a huge price, and. I would be interested to see where he runs now next week over not next week but over Christmas time. He's yeah, I like him. And Enega Mene, champion chase six to one, and now nine to four. Just wins. I think this <coughs> is an absolute aeroplane. We haven't seen Shiskin yet. God only knows when we're going to see him. There's so many rumors going around about him. Is he even in the stables anymore? Is Nick yet retiring him instead of Altior? Who yeah. knows? Nargamene is now the business. So, yeah, look, overall, I'm, I am uh, quite happy with that. Um, and today's one is Largi debut for the Supreme Novice Hurdle at 14 to 1. Uh, I, I, I said I've talked about him, I think it was two weeks ago, but to reiterate it and put him up officially, he is my next selection. He beat a 1 to 12, 1 to 14 on Kill Crush at Cork, and by every stretch of the imagination, it wasn't a fluke. Because I think it was David Case came out and said, We have no excuses. We got beat fair and square. The day before, we were out in Henry's and we were told this lad's going to win. Did any of us listen, though? <laughs> um, but they must, he must be doing something very, very good at home. And to go out and beat the Punchdown champion bumper winner, and this, he was second in the Cheltenham bumper, there's a serious engine under there. And I think he could be getting overlooked at 14 to 1. So he is my next selection for our Chenton Festival anti post video. Um, yeah, that's us for just to reiterate on last week, our Chetland Festival preview is confirmed for March the 3rd in the Tower Hotel in Waterford. That is the Thursday. Um, so in the new year, all the details about tickets. Um, so it'll be the three of us, it'll be Gavin Lynch and um, Jamie Moore. I have to tell him, still didn't tell him yet, but he's part of Hollywood Pets so he is, he will be there. Oh, I was meant to say oh, it to him today. Oh, I was talking to him today, and I was like, I had a wrote down, tell him about Cheltenham. I was like, because uh, we're meant to be doing one in Brentford as well. I told you that we're meant to do one in Brentford. That is classic. If you pull that off, I'd be very impressed. You no, know, no, I just, it's an easy thing. Um, so yeah, we could have one in Brentford the week after in the Brentford Community Stadium, also known as Brentford's home home ground, and whoever else plays rugby in there. I'm doing that in a Brentford jersey if we're going. 
I'm getting into that. I'm doing it naked. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, and that's the end of that. <laughs> and that's the Brentford thing not happening. Um, yeah, so all being well to see what I'm going ahead. But the one in Waterford and Tower Hotel is definitely happening. It's just at the cross the T's and dot the I's and we're good to go. Um, yeah, so that is us done for another episode of Chantler Festival Anti Post Video. And as again, we are back on Sunday for our this is our third annual Christmas quiz, isn't it? Yes, third annual Christmas quiz. Um, 30, 40 questions? 45. 45. 15 hurdlers, 15 chasers, 15 miscellaneous. Last five years of Cheltenham festival results and runners. He's after expanding on that since last week, isn't he? Hmm. I like that. You're now known for five years. Interesting. Interesting. And we at uh, 20 or free, three 20 or free bets um, for. Three people, obviously. Um, yeah, so we are back then on Sunday for that. And we go live next Wednesday at 8 o'clock for our Christmas edition. On Christmas edition? That's not right. Christmas special, where we're going to look over all the racing. At, not all the racing, but all the big races at Leperstown. Chepstow, Kempton, uh, Limerick. And yeah, that's, that's about it. So until then, we will see you Sunday live at 8 o'clock for another episode of Talking Points and our annual Christmas.